Okay, this is an old bread box that I've had for a few years and I've decided I want to give it a little bit of an update and repaint it and decorate it. Now, as you can see, this is the door, but it's got a little bit of a dent here at the bottom. I'm going to have to try to sand that down and hopefully when I paint it, I can camouflage it a little bit. Put a little bit of wood putty down there. And what you'll need, make sure you have something underneath to protect your surface that you're working on. And you'll need some sandpaper. And whatever your first coat is on the bread box. Um, I got some stencils. You can get whatever design you like to use. And of course, different colors to use for the decorating. This is a yellowy color and green, light green. Then we need some paint brushes. I like to use these soft ones and not to mention they're cheap too, but they do work great on these kind of projects. And also a little bit of wood putty or whatever you need to um, repair any little scratches, dents, whatever. Okay, I've put the putty onto the um, little imperfection I had here in the corner of this bread door. I'm going to leave this aside and let this dry. And I want to start sandpapering the rest of this. I'm going to fold the sandpaper and get started on that. Well, I'm just going to do the front, the sides, and the door, of course. I'm not going to worry about the back. That's already sanded, as it was never glazed down. I just want to take that shiny, smooth edge off so that the paint adheres to it a lot better. Okay, that's sanded enough. Um, I'm going to clean up all the sawdust now and brush this down. And then we're going to paint it, and I have to wait to sand this piece until the body dries. Okay, I've set the covering back on the table. It's nice to set it back onto a little bit of a damp surface that you're working with. That way it's the plastic tends to stick a little better. Um, I'm going to start on the front and top. Careful not to get inside. You can always wipe that off later, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to do the inside. I'm just going to do the outside, then let that dry. And then work on the sides and anything else that I missed. So we'll start. And I, I, it doesn't have to be perfect. I live in a very old house, so I kind of want it to look a little antique -y. Not so much perfection here. So we'll get started on the top. And when you've done that, and the sides, um, then I'll work on the bottom edges after this dries. And you let that dry for a while after you've done this, and we'll get started on the rest of it. That's done, I'm going to let that dry. I always paint in the direction of the grain. And I did manage to do the edges and the sides. As you can see, I just left it somewhat a little rough looking so you can see the, the grain a little bit.
Well, I've done the door. Um, as you can see, the dent's still there. I'm going to have to go over that again, touch it up, which isn't a problem. You just sand it when the putty dries and just touch up the paint a little bit. I kind of like it. It gives it a little old character. So when this all dries, we'll decide where we're going to put the stencils. So now with the stencils, I like to put the paint onto a um, paper plate. And these are the stencils I got. And you take your paintbrush, and as you can see, I have a paper plate underneath. Don't have any drips. Don't use a lot of paint. You just need a little bit. Simple is the best way to go with anything. Here's one stencil done. I'm going to start working on the other side and put some butterflies around there. So here's the finished product. And then I'll show you the side. I have it all, a little bit of decoration there for the fall. And this is the side view. Hope you enjoyed this video.